Young people today have a lot of exposure and experience and familiarity with interacting with new technologies, but a lot less so of creating with new technology. Hence, our company is aimed at equipping the young minds with skills by providing best STEM learning opportunities to empower students to become tomorrow's problem solvers, inventors, innovators, makers, and entrepreneurs. At Center for Tech, we have a curriculum for the young ones and it's called Young Inventors Technology Training Program. The Young Inventors Technology Program is designed to teach technology skills to our kids and teens early in a fun, very simplified and practical manner with a view to raising a new generation of scientists and engineers. Our programs are tutored by a highly experienced professional team who are very passionate about transferring technology to the young ones. Our focus is to ignite students' interest in STEM, that is, science, technology, engineering, and mathematic courses. Students will learn the principles, techniques, practices of science and engineering, as well as analytical and problem-solving skills, which will also impact positively on their academic performance. Students will learn the principles, techniques and practices of science and engineering as well as analytical and problem-solving skills which will also impact positively on their academic performance. Various technology courses offered at Center for Tech include Electronics Design Technology. In this course, students learn about various electronics components and use them to build working electronic circuits and gadgets. They also learn to work with microcontrollers such as the Arduino, which is used by over 300 universities worldwide. They also learn how to write codes in C++, which are uploaded into these microcontrollers and they act as the brain of the whole circuit that they've designed. Hi guys, my name is Hamida and I'm a summer camp student of Center for Tech and I'm in the electronics department. So follow me into my class and see what me and my colleagues are doing. Thank you. Engineer Femi, you're working on a what? An IC. An IC. For what? Emotion sensor. Emotion sensor. All you guys here are working on emotion sensor. I want to work a security system. A security system? That's good. I love that. So how's the work going? Fine. Is it easy for you to catch up or too hard? Easy. Easy. And you know you, you, you're you sure you're going to finish your work before your project runs out? Yes. That's very good. Good How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What's your name? Hamida. Hamida. What are you working on? Um, digital clock and calendar. Digital clock and calendar. How has the journey been so far? It's been good. It's still ups and downs, you know, but it's been good. Okay. How far have you gone with your job now? I've gone far. I think I've gone far. As far as I'm concerned, I've gone far. When will it be? When will it be true? I hope today, between today and tomorrow. Okay, let me see you to make one clock for me as well. No. no. You don't want to give me one of the clock? No. Uh, I'm very very stingy. Uh, uh, I'm crying. <laughs> okay, what do you want to study when you get to the university? Um, I want to be a doctor. A doctor. Then why are you doing electronics right here? It's really interesting and gets my brain to spark. Get your brain to spark? Yes, and no problem solving ability is not necessarily for electronics. For in general terms, like, um, no generally, it's hard to think on how to solve it. It's not just for electronics. But for the world at large, you gave us me. I love that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please, sir. Good morning. Yes, can we meet you? I'm um, Oloma Ibrahim. I'm the engineer here at Engine. Center for Tech. Okay. Which departments are you working in? I work in the electronics engineering departments. How has it been so far? Um, so far, it's been challenging because they are kids. <laughs> it's been tough, but uh, I can remember when they came in here, they didn't know so much, but now they know a lot. I think that's progress. 
So how far are they are they picking or yes surprisingly very fast. <laughs> we have in fact practically everybody here didn't know what a resistor was. So at the first day. Right now you can see them building their circuits. You have this seen this group here that have done so much. They are ready to even test their circuits by this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Then others are programming, writing the programs because the pro and the circuits will run on some codes. So that's how much they know and I can bet that they know what they are doing. Yes. What are the what are the uh, uh, finished product we, we we intend seeing after their time here? Okay, yes. Now what they are building is um, a project they will take home. It's a digital clock and a calendar. Yeah. That's very practical, commercial level sort of project. Mm -hmm. They'll also be building a smart waste bin. Mm -hmm. Normally you want to, you, you don't want to bend down to open your waste bin, probably in the kitchen or something like that. Once you approach, the waste bin opens, you dump your waste and go. So that's a smart waste bin that these kids will be building during this summer camp. I would like to have one of the ways being after your... Uh, There's no problem. You have more than one. Thank you very much, Mr. Ibrahim. Thank you. Participants will understand the basic concepts of writing computer codes. They will be taught how to apply computer programming in creating tech products, focusing on electronics. Students will be able to use electronics and software tools used by industry professionals in creating real-life electronic gadgets. Such tools include the Arduino Development Board, the Atmega 328P microchip, the same kind of microchips family found in home appliances. They'll learn how to program in C++ and C programming environment, which is what the Arduino IDE is based on and they'll learn how to simulate and also to test their projects. Hello friends, this is a smart waste bin that I built after attending the Center for Tech program. It opens when you come close to it and then when you leave it, it closes. Uh, I built it with some ICs, a servo motor and a capacitor. It, uh, it ha also has a light indicator and a proximity sensor. This senses when you are coming close to it and when you are leaving. A friend of mine is coming to demonstrate how the smart waste bin works and here he comes. And that's basically what it does. Students offering electronics technology training are each given a kit which they take home and each kit contains the microcontroller development board based on Arduino, LCD graphical display, light sensors, temperature sensors, motion sensors, proximity sensors, DC motors, digital multimeters, magnifying glass, breadboard, jumper wires and so much more so this is theirs to take home and continue further experimentation and also each student is required to design a take-home project which they can also make use at home another exciting course offered by center for tech is mobile games design where students learn and experience how to conceive a game concept and take it from a concept to a playable mobile game on their mobile devices. Students learn the production, level design and coding process of mobile games design. They learn game mechanics, game logic, game play design and balancing as well as game audio and game graphics. Hi everyone, my name is Usnachi and I'm a summer student of Center for Tech. My department is mobile games. Follow me in and check out what my friends are doing. What's your name? Erolu Adukomaya. Come again. Erolu Adukomaya. Okay, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing fine, sir. Okay. What's, what are you doing right now on your system? I'm making a level one. But right now he said we should go to our event sheet for and add some events about our banners and our advertisements. So you're working on a mobile game specifically? Yes. Okay. How's the job been so far? 
it's been 12 but we're progressing you're progressing yes, quite well right yes sir okay can we see the job you've done so far yes sir When you collide with this, my health will reduce. When you collide with this, my health will reduce, but I still have the opportunity to jump on it so it will die. So we are still on our level two, we will do our level two and any other level that we want. So then we are still making our game over screen, our retry skin, almost everything. Thank you very much. When you want to do your the, the final one, you have to do what? Use a good name for your app. For instance, Candy Crush, um, Yapa's Fit Life. <laughs> so names that actually um, make sense and people also understand. So that's um, I need to choose a good one. Package name. They get to play tests and port their games when they finish production to different platforms like the Android, the Windows, and the iOS platforms. Students also get to learn how to earn revenue from their games by incorporating ad networks such as Google AdMob, Mopop, and much more. By designing mobile games, students learn creative thinking, analytical skills, critical thinking, computational skills, independent decision-making, effective communications and team-building skills. Another exciting course offered at Center for Tech is 3D animation. Students are taught how to create cinema-like kind of animations within a very short time using professional tools. Students learn the basics of 3D animation such as setting up a scene, building houses using basic 3D shapes, and adding sounds to their projects. They also get to learn the work animations for their projects. Hi, my name is Timothy. I'm a student in Center for Tech Summer Camp. I'm in 3D animation class. Follow me and see what me and my friends are doing. It's very awesome. Good morning, what's your name? My name is Angela Oshinjolu. Angela. 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 Okay. Angela, what are you working on? Well, I'm working on a girl that just walks down somewhere and then she calls her friends and they all dance. Oh, okay, dance the... you do. You create the job yourself? Yeah. All your imagination and your creation? My imagination. Okay. Can we see what you've done so far? Very nice one. How long did it take to create the job? Well, it didn't take me long. I just did it today. Just today? Wow, that's lovely. So, what can you say about Center for Tech? Well, I can say it's a, it's a very interesting place and I'm coming here next holiday. You come here next holiday? Thank you very much. Center for Tech has trained students from over 100 schools throughout Nigeria through our Young Inventors Summer Camp, in-school and after-school technology clubs, which takes place at partner schools and at our center. We also, from time to time, offer free training to inner-city youth. Every student gets post-training support via our alumni network, as well as access to our online learning portal. With the skills training offered by Center for Tech, we strongly believe that Nigerian youths can become makers of technology 
and not just consumers and our youth can contribute towards job creation and poverty reduction in Nigeria. Center for Tech. Technology starts here.